uh, from early in the morning and uh, we give thanks to Barry for such a very educative interview on matters between young people looking for greener pastures in abroad and ended up being in slavery. And uh, that conversation should still keep on going. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me the hashtag to use is hashtag Hip Hop Thursday at, at Y254 Y254 channel on our Facebook page, Y254 channel, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram. I usually mix that up. At Michelle Ashira is where you can get me. And DJ Rajes, Ngelesha Watuwako, the hip hop heads. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Tell them something. Where can uh, they find you? Actually, no yeah? Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter, Facebook, Quote. Okay. Get my mixes video at Vimeo. Mm. Rajes the DJ Bado. Audio ni Miss Cloud, Rajes the DJ. Okay. Yeah. Leo naonekana kwamba tutazungumza lugha ya Kiswahili. <laughs> Tutatukuza Kiswahili on to our guest that is in the building currently. He's all, she is all the way from she comes from all the way from Mombasa. Yeah. Yes. And uh, she's doing good into the industry, swag on point, buzz on point, and the talent is uh, there. So most of us know her from Swadakta single, which <laughs> gathered more than 24,000 views on YouTube. And uh, some of us uh, found out about her via a beef by M Super S on one uh, television program uh, there. The whole situation went down. The two minutes were rib cracking to me, and some of uh, some of you might say that it was wasting of your time. Uh, regardless of how you see it, she'll be speaking more on that. And also a district that she later on released, uh, huh? Double B. I would like to call her that if she allows me. Yeah. Karibu yeah. sana. Asante sana. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Introduce yourself. What Yo, uh, best boomer, Totoa Kike from Mombasa. Wananita jogo jike kule kwetu. Yeah. Okay. Jogo JK. Huh? Yeah, let me go to Wikam Jin. Mumbasa. Mumbasa Maria Kani. Mm -hmm. Representing Maria Kani. All right. Tony yeah. Ulikuzuaje Kabla Upende Usani Ama Ulikuleon Usani na Pia. Um, Where did you study? What did you study? How was life while growing up? Life ku grow up. Haiko angumu na haiko raisi. Kuishi duniani bila wazazi yote wa wili. Mm -hmm. Wajui. Upo tu. Yani. So maisha yalikuwa hivyo ila nashukuru kwa Loni Lea wamenikuza kwenye mazingira ya kidini zaidi na familia yangu ipendi mziki. Sema mimi ndo nimenukia upenda mziki labda babangu likuwa napenda mziki. Sijui labda. Yeah. Mwana tunatumia labda? Kwa sababu ni mtu wajuli kani. Mm, it's okay. Yeah. So ukapenda mziki ulipa uh, wakati ugeni ndio ulijitosa katika usani? Usani 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah 2015 ndo nilianza kufanya mziki wa hip hop kuandika, ku rap, ku battle nyumbani. Yeah, nilikuwa nikiwatazama zaidi kina labala nafikiri uko on the building. Yeah, so we yeah. coming through. Mimi nilikuwa fan wake sana sana mm -hmm. bado ni fan wake. Okay. Yeah. Did you start off doing uh, hip hop music or ulikuwa unafanya tu genre pia zingine? No, hip hop. Nime base sana kwa hip hop. Hmm. Yeah. That is interesting. Uh, mbona ukachagua hip hop music? Hip hop ni, ni ngoma za watu wazima. <laughs> eh hey, pulo <laughs> Jirajis. Yeah, ni ngoma za kusumbua akili. Uh -huh. Siku zote mwana hip hop anakoma akili akiwa mdogo. Uh -huh. uh, ndio maana unaangalia wenye hip hop au mtu yote anafanya hip hop katika maongezi yake anaongea vitu vya kiutu uzima. Uh -huh. Ya yeah, kushinda mtu akubana poa, kushika kifua. I'm sorry lakini napenda kusikiza nyimbo za kuimba although mini hip hop. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, Brenda, because it's true what you just said that, that hip hop music is uh, it's music that requires lots of uh, exercising of your brain yeah, yeah. and you can incorporate rhymes and everything else because yeah. it's also poetry, there's rhythm, they have to be there. Uh, that's very true. So, Nyambie, Pali Ambapoli, Tua Ngomea Kwa Kwanza, Ukeyone Ikicheza. Ilikuwa Gani now, how did you feel? Ngomea Kwa Kwanza, Nili Toa, Ilikuwa Ni Mtoto Wa Kike. Mm -hmm. Ya yeah, mtoto wa kike ikaanza kuchezwa nyumbani ikapendwa ilikuwa ni nyimbo inaamsha niki niki nikishika mic kwenye flow watu wanabambika so hiyo ndio ilinipa morale ya kuendelea yeah. so the reception was nice yeah and then we went ahead to do so doctor the Swadakta. same year you released two songs yeah so doctor kwanza tuangazie masuala ya fedha katika budgeting and uh, just in general, both singles. So how did you handle that? Because in terms of music, young people say that 
hawani le pesa yeah. mziki in terms of video and how did you go around that finances to release two singles in one year uh, ni, ni, ni misaada ya marafiki na watu ambao wananikubali zaidi walichangia zaidi especially kwa mambo ya hela mm -hmm. ya kwa mambo ya pesa hizo siezi sema atini mimi binafsi nilitoa mm -hmm. ya ni watu ambao wameni surround walichangia sana so are you signed under any label ambayo imekuja ikakusaidia kivingine na kama ni kivingine kivipe uh, currently niko signed under Lejo Entertainment mm -hmm. ni new uh, recording label ambayo tunai tunajaribu kuipenyesha kwenye industry sasa hii tuko wasanii wawili mimi na msanii fulani anaitwa Becho so tunajaribu ku, ku, kumnacha best boomer first then alafu tutakuja tutamu introduce Becho Okay. Yeah. So far hii jani ya usanii umekuwaje kwa kwako on a personal level? Ah, uh, usanii si kwa, kwa kwa ukiangalia you are giving out your art out there and people are, the reception is nice. So far as a person and individual hata kabla tujiangalie zile project zako. Ah, mm. uh, usanii ni kitu ngumu na ni rahisi mm -hmm. to me according to me. Uh, inataka bidii inataka akili uvumilivu mm. inataka heshima nyingi sana mm -hmm. yeah na tukiangalia time frame yako kuanzia uanze professionally as an artist that is in 2015 sio yeah. mbali sana yeah. uh, na sasa una, una msanii ambaye unatajika umefika hapa na pia young people are looking up to you yeah, yeah. and uh, you're still going to places you know even started i, I tend to believe hiyo ulifanyaje mpaka yani un, Unajua kuna wasanii ambao wameanza way back. Mtu anakuambia alianza usanii 7 years ago, 5 yeah. years, 10 years ago. Yeah. Lakini bado hajapata ile platform ya kuonyesha kazi yake. Na wengine pia they end up giving up, giving up along the way, but most of them like it time frame ya kujulikana pia na kuwekeza kazi yako mpaka watu wanakujua na kupata hii platform. Hiyo njia ilikuwa ipi ukapata hizi platform ndio pia usaidia wasanii wengine ambao wanakuja katika art na muziki. Uvumilivu mm -hmm. kuamini kwamba Mungu yuko na kwenye platform za social media. Tumia social media kujimarket wewe kama ni msanii, wewe kama ni muzanguo. Itumie zaidi kwa hiyo sekta. Usitumie kutuonyesha maisha yako. Kila mtu ana maisha yake. So nafikiri mi platforms zilinisaidia watu wengi sana walinijua kupitia platforms na za social media especially kwenye Facebook, Instagram, vitu kama hizo nilijimarket zaidi huko. So mimi nezaambia wenzangu social media zina umuhimu once ukiamua ku, ku use your, your media well. Yeah. Okay, so ukafanya your first single the reception was nice now the second single which was on august last year so doctor so doctor over yeah. 24000 views yeah uh -huh. so now we in a different uh, arena mm -hmm. experience ilikuwa <laughs> japo now who are the guys behind the camera uh, the, the production the visual because uh, we incorporate lots of dancers most of us who love to dance we the moves were nice choreographed very well uh, yeah. who's the guy behind the visual production the pure audio Eh, the visual uh, there's a man called Lai mm -hmm. Lai thanks to Lai uh, and there's Lama director Lama Lama amenisaidia sana mm -hmm. to shoot video mtaani kwetu Maria Kani so adapter mm -hmm. uh, vijana alijitolea mimi nashukuru sana kwetu napendwa mm -hmm. na kubalika zaidi mm -hmm. so alijitolea tu hakuna hata shilingi nilitumia kwa hiyo video siwezi uh -huh. danganya I'm not uh, you didn't spend uh, I did spend anything that is so nice yeah. The judges. So far, I mean, I've an inspiring story all uh, through. And that's support from yes, from my hometown mm -hmm. and in Afakuiva, all over. All support over. your own, yeah. Support your own, and you're here to support you more. So, we can collab with um, Super S, and this is how I was introduced to you through uh, this uh, uh, battle that yeah. you guys did on another TV station. Now, it was two minutes of rib cracking to me. As I said earlier on, and then the battle went on. Uh, so you guys, your battle will continue. Like, battle. were they nom, uh, name, name dropping like a word, and then you guys vibe to it? Yeah, yeah. So we were scared to baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unapewa topic flani, mm -hmm. you freestyle about that topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so to quote me, pewa topic flani, mm -hmm. to to zungzio kusuiyo, mm. then nafikiri, si bi litokiani ni apokatikati si zinjua. 
hapo <laughs> kompole na umeangusha distract kali sana hapa nimeona kwa comedy comedian mamito and you went ahead to do a distract kwa msupaye hapana si si kutaja mtu nilikuwa tu na vibe ya ku freestyle are you sure yeah, yeah. Na mbona simili ile ile battle tu nimeona ni kati yako na Msubais. Na ukasema nasikia hapo mistari unaangusha unasema walikuletea wali msanii ambaye na mistari azijaenda shule. Na na pia ukasema eh wendi jogoji ke kwenye mtaa ya bado hajafika ligi bado. No. Ilikuwa vibe tu ya ku freestyle mm -hmm. lakini ilichukuliwa vibaya but msupes nilimuomba msamaha kwa sababu pia ilichukulia vibaya ah sasa umekubali kumbe hapana <laughs> okay. sisi kumtaja mtu <laughs> sawa so, basi so right now mko wapi in terms of ile kind of relationship because you guys released the song yeah uh -huh. tell to... us more about the song before we actually even wana nini ni vibe ilikuja studio kwa Rico Beat mm -hmm. tulienda studio na msupes mm -hmm. Uh, vibe ikaja studio tukaandika nyimbo nafikiri in 30 minutes time mm -hmm. nyimbo ilikuwa imeisha so wimbo ilikuja uh, before the the beef ile happened on tv ama after yeah before the beef so you guys knew each other before going on on air or doing the beef yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. so working with her was easy how was yeah, it working with her ilikuwa easy i'm surprised yeah. it's full of energy <laughs> she's very loud <laughs> it was easy ilikuwa easy sana mm -hmm. yeah so you guys are in good communication tulikuwa hapo before we went back to the music to me sina shida na msupais mm -hmm. na nafikiri kwake pia hana shida na mimi mm -hmm. so siezi jua kwa sababu ni kitambo kidogo tu tuongee na yeye lakini sina shida na msupais haya sawa basi mmemsikia double b best boomer right here on hashtag hip hop thursday amesema kwamba there is no beef eh? it was just uh, releasing a freestyle music did you judges the guy on the wheels to ready to uh, the single uh, double b featuring msupais yeah, we ready we ready okay wait <laughs> wait okay totally happens right here on hashtag for thursday oh my rico beats <laughs> 